Necklace splitting is a picturesque name given to several related problems in combinatorics and measure theory. Its name and solutions are due to mathematicians Noga Alon and Douglas B. West. The basic setting involves a necklace with beads of different colors. The necklace should be divided between several partners, such that each partner receives the same amount of every color. Moreover, the number of cuts should be as small as possible. Variants The following variants of the problem have been solved in the original paper. 1. Discrete splitting The necklace has beads. The beads come in different colors. There are beads of each color, where is a positive integer. Partition a necklace into parts, each of which has exactly beads of color I. Use at most cuts. Note that if the beads of each color are contiguous on the necklace, then at least cuts must be done inside each color, so is optimal. 2. Continuous splitting. The necklace is the real interval. Each point of the interval is colored in one of different colors. For every color, the set of points colored by is levers gay measurable and has length, where is a non-negative real number. Partition the interval to parts, such that in each part, the total length of color is exactly use at most cuts. 3. Measure splitting. The necklace is a real interval. There are different measures on the interval, all absolutely continuous with respect to length. The measure of the entire necklace, according to measure, is Partition the interval to parts, such that the measure of each part, according to measure, is exactly use at most cuts. This is a generalization of the Hobby-Rice theorem, and it is used to get an exact division of a cake. Each problem can be solved by the next problem. Discrete splitting can be solved by continuous splitting. Since a discrete necklace can be converted to a coloring of the real interval in which each interval of length 1 is colored by the color of the corresponding bead. In case the continuous splitting tries to cut inside beads, the cuts can be slid gradually such that they are made only between beads. Continuous splitting can be solved by measure splitting, since the coloring of an interval in colors can be converted to a set measures, such that measure measures the total length of color. The opposite is also true. Measure splitting can be solved by continuous splitting, using a more sophisticated reduction. Proof The case can be proved by the Borskulum theorem. When is an odd prime number? The proof involves a generalization of the Borskulum theorem. When is a composite number? The proof is as follows. Suppose, there are measures, each of which values the entire necklaces. Using cuts, divide the necklace to parts such that measure of each part is exactly Using cuts, divide each part to parts such that measure of each part is exactly all in all, there are now parts such that measure of each part is exactly the total number of cuts is plus which is exactly further results. One cut fewer than needed in the case of two thieves, i.e., k equals 2, and t colors, a fair split would require at most t cuts. If, however, only t-1 cuts are available, Hungarian mathematician Gabor Simonyi shows that the two thieves can achieve an almost fair division in the following sense. If the necklace is arranged so that no t split is possible, then for any two subsets t1 and d2 of 1, 2, t, not both empty, such that a split exists such that if color, then partition 1 has more beads of color I than partition 2. If color, then partition 2 has more beads of color I than partition 1. If color I is in neither partition, both partitions have equally many beads of color I, i.e., if the thieves have preferences in the form of two preference sets D1 and D2, not both empty. There exists a split so that thief 1 gets more beads of types in his preference set D1 than thief 2. Thief 2 gets more beads of types in her preference set D2 than thief 1, and the rest are equal. 
Simon Yee credits Gabor Tardos with noticing that the result above is a direct generalization of Alon's original necklace theorem in the case gay equals 2. Either the necklace has a split, or it does not. If it does, there is nothing to prove. If it does not, we may add beads of a fictitious color to the necklace, and make D1 consist of the fictitious color and D2 empty. Then Simon Yee's result shows that there is 80 split with equal numbers of each real color. Negative result that for every there is a measurable coloring of the real line such that no interval can be fairly split using at most cuts. Splitting multidimensional necklaces the result can be generalized to n probability measures defined on a d-dimensional cube with any combination of n hyperplanes parallel to the size for k thieves. Approximation algorithm An approximation algorithm for splitting a necklace can be derived from an algorithm for consensus halving.